Ah, well. All right. Hello, everyone. Tyler here. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about my journey. It is almost 2020, whether you like it or not, it's almost 2020. And <clears throat> I need to start talking about what my future is going to be on YouTube. Now, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm not leaving YouTube. But I know where I'm going on YouTube. A, good, a great uh, YouTuber named Roberto Blake... And I, share, and I link his video down below in the description so you can see it. He has a wonderful video about content. Help, hope, and... Um, dang it, I should have written it down. I can't remember the third one. But, uh, well, you'll have to watch the video then, won't you? Um, so I'm going to start trying to vlog, or at least still sit here in my comfy chair and vlog, you know, chair, chair, chair type vlogging. And I'm going to tell you, uh, I think I'll give you a goal for the day. I'll give you a goal for the day. That sounds like fun. But also for those that may know or may not know, I have a uh, playlist on here called finding a job tips and tricks from other people who, uh, know about how to find jobs better than I do because I'm seeking employment. I'm seeking employment in the accessibility field, as some of you may know, but it's a little harder than I thought. So I'm not giving up, but I do have plans. I do have ideas, um, specifically looking at marketing companies. Because in my humble opinion, marketing and accessibility are in, like, they are like peanut butter and jelly. They need to be uh, linked. Peanut butter is good, but jelly makes it better. Um... Marketing is great, especially digital marketing is fantastic, but accessible digital marketing, being mindful of the new 2.1 guidelines, which we will be going over in this next year, um, as well as all the 2.0 guidelines that are involved in 2.1 for, for the web content guideline, accessibility guidelines. Um, it is very important to go through um, to make sure that your marketing, your brand, is your brand's website, is your brand's color scheme, is everything like that, um, uh, is it conducive to all persons? Can all persons perceive it, operate it, is it perceivable, operable, understandable, or robust? A Coca-Cola can is all of that. If you see the Coca-Cola symbol, which is a red can and white text, which I think says Coca-Cola, someone tell me in the description down below. But you know that that's perceivable, operable, understandable, and robust. It's perceivable because you can perceive that you're holding a Coke can. It's not operable because you can open it. It's understandable what it is because it's a Coke can and it's robust because no matter where you go, it's everywhere. Digital marketing has to be the same way. Your website may look beautiful. It may look glorious. It may look all kinds of stuff. But there are small things, especially after reading w, uh, web... I'm going to call them WCAG. WCAG 2.1. Little things that even I, someone who s loves accessibility to no end, even I looked at it and was like, wow. Wow, okay. So that's the new one. Even I applied the new um, guidelines. Uh, even I was stunned at some of the policies of guidelines, but they all make sense. So, 
also in the description below, unless you're on LinkedIn, I um, have my LinkedIn account. And I am definitely going to be not posting all my videos on LinkedIn. Absolutely not. But I'll be posting most of them. This one and other ones that involve accessibility um, for the next year to build my brand. I am an unknown right now. I need to market my market. I need to make myself marketable. And I could write all day, every day. I could write, make articles on LinkedIn. I could do that. But I like talking. I like interacting. I will write if necessary, but I love interaction. So, yeah, that's my plan. Build the YouTube strategy. Vlog about everything. Well, not everything, but vlog about the fun things. Be, and be selective on where I post videos on LinkedIn. So, accessibility videos will be posted on LinkedIn. However, uh, videos with my girlfriend will not, um, for obvious reasons. But I welcome all of you who are new to the channel. I welcome all of you who are uh, thinking about joining the channel. If you are watching this on LinkedIn and you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. I'm getting more confident every day. And I will make an... Graham Stefan, how I make $45,000 per week. Uh, hi, Talkback. Thank you. Um, and, yeah, thanks, Graham. I would love to learn how you make $45,000 per week. Um, and I will learn that later. But um, I will make an About Me video. So you all can watch me and learn a little bit about me, kind of like a resume. Because I really, I don't care what I do, but I really want to do something that involves, that, that involves a job. I want to make my name out there. I want to be uh, more known than I am. So, yeah, I think I'm done rambling now. I think it's hit the eight-minute mark. If not, wonderful. If it went beyond the eight-minute mark, oh, I'm sorry. All right, everyone, you have a wonderful day. Uh, please subscribe to all the social media down below. Follow my blog. Follow my Twitter. Follow my Instagram. Follow my LinkedIn. Um, yeah, please subscribe to all of that. All right, everyone, thank you, and have a pleasant day.